Hey peeps, I'm back with another video. Uh, so what I'm doing today is I'm sharing my process of how I illustrate a picture from start to finish. Um, so it'll be half in my sketchbook and the rest of the way will be digital art because I like to meld my ideas together in both ways. So um, you're gonna see this old picture of mine. I'm going to actually redraw it. This is called the Sigil Makers Workshop, I believe this illustration is called, and it's back from 2018. And at the time I worked so, so hard on it and I ended up not really liking it in the long run, but I'm still proud of it now. Um, just because of the way I drew it. I like I like the overall feel for this character and what their workshop might look like. So um, I just wanted to redraw it just to see where I'm at and see where I've improved in terms of color, in terms of perspective, and you know, putting people in a space and everything. So that's kind of why I'm redrawing this picture. Um, just to see, just to gauge how I've improved over time. Um, now, I want to talk about the first step, which is actually my favorite step, and that's thumbnailing in a sketchbook. Um, I like sometimes I'll draw sketches and thumbnails digitally, but other times I'll draw in a in a sketchbook. And I find that when I'm drawing things in a sketchbook, my ideas feel more concrete when I go over to draw them in in a digital art or, or in Clip Studio. So I am also taking different references from different pictures, and you'll see I'll put some up on. Um, on the screen, the things that I Googled and the spaces that I've Googled. Like lately I've been into dark decor, so dark academia and all that. Um, just like dark interior design with pictures and, uh, you know, dark paint and all the, you know, things that make it cozy and bookish. That's what I've been into lately. Um, hot tip, if you don't like Pinterest, like I don't, just type minus Pinterest in at the end of your searching query on Google so that it won't pull up any Pinterest sites because sometimes um, Pinterest will trick you into trying to log in and that's kind of shady to me and I don't really like that. Um, and I think it's just one less place to have them collect your data. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, don't forget the reference is the most important step at this stage, at any stage I would argue, but especially at this stage because you're gathering your ideas and you wanna have a visual library of what you want your picture to be overall. So I have, uh, what I use actually is VizRef, VizRef, which is on, it's on my iPad. Um, and I use that and I dump a bunch of pictures that I like in different folders and I drawing like basically what I want it to look like. So that's why your, your reference is so important. But yeah, just do what feels best for you. Also, one more thing, I like to draw the elements, the individual elements that will make up the picture. So not just the character and not just the scene, but the different like little bits that populate the scene and make it look lived in. So in this case, it'd be scrolls, like papyrus papers, lanterns, plants, books, uh, all that kind of stuff. And I even like to draw on the side different little scenes that I also think of that, oh, I can use, come back and use that later. Like um, my character Dionysios or Dio here is looking through different scrolls for different types of magic. And um, maybe I'll draw that later, but I like to get a feel or a sense of what the headspace the character is in when I draw them. So I might draw a totally different thing on the side just to round out the idea that I want to put onto the canvas. So step two, you see me here digitally sketching what I sketched essentially in my sketchbook, um, from my sketchbook. So I'm in Clip Studio Paint right now and here's where I finalize the thumbnails and the other elements I've drawn into a sketch uh, that I can then finish easier or faster. Um, I can move things around without having to erase constantly. I can change the pose of the character if I need to, but for the most part, the angle is pretty much locked in. And then I'm going to go ahead and do line art. So 
So while you're watching me draw or you're listening to me talk, um, or if you're working along with me, I just wanted to uh, talk about this character that I'm drawing because uh, sometimes I'll draw and then I won't tell you what I'm drawing, so I think it'd be pretty cool if I just told you about this character that I've had for like five years. So his name is Dionysius, um, Dio for short, all his friends call him Dio, you can call him Dio, it's just easier to pronounce. Um, and he is uh, the main character currently from my comic Lucius. Um, and he's from a city of, uh, he's from a desert city, an oasis city basically, called Lucius. And um, he has to his specialty is like sigil magic or making and making items like enchanted items and things like that and one of the reasons why he's the main character is because he has to go through this ritual um for his for the local gods of his land uh because it's very special ritual that helps protect the city which is actually usually invisible to people just for the protection of the city because um, it's a very valuable, very rare city in the middle of the the greater sands is the is a where this city is located. Um, so there's actually an invisibility spell or a mirage spell, if you will, um, that's protecting the city from invaders and like enemies and uh, the elements even because this particular desert has a lot of dangerous magic around it. So it's very important for their city to be protected and Dionysios has to be the one to kind of spearhead this ritual and he's not exactly sure if he's going to do it right or if anything's going to be going to go wrong and that's kind of where the story that's kind of the aim of the story so far um if you wanted to read it go ahead um he's also in a lot of other comics that i'll be making um because where he starts out and where he ends up are two very different places um but i would describe his character as very sweet kind and very helpful um he does not speak common, which is like the language, the overall language that everybody speaks in the rest of the world. He, he speaks Doric, which is, I've taken a lot of like Egyptian as well as Greek elements because I love like the mythology from both those places. And I've put it into Lusios, Um and I hope I've like described the world well in the comic because um, it's really right up my alley and I can't wait to like draw the rest of it so you guys can read the rest of it um, but overall he uh, doesn't really speak common or that well really and he tries his best and there is a lot of things that are above his head that he kind of just he tries his best and that's just kind of where he's at character wise I don't want to like give away too much but um yeah, if you wanted to like read it, you can go ahead. Like he does also look a very very odd, so there's a reason for that. that like he's a part of a race that is all, almost exclusive to uh the greater sands. There's no other race like it. So that's why he looks the way he looks. He, and he has four eyes and everything. But yeah, I just wanted to like briefly touch on that and like just give you an idea of who I'm drawing. Um yeah. Oh, and it looks like we've uh, slipped into the the line art phase. <laughs> uh, the line art phase is actually not my favorite part of making illustrations at all. I'm trying to, I'm always experimenting with the technique that I'm doing because one moment I'll want crisp lines and the next I'll want those soft, sketchy, looser lines that kind of blend in with the coloring. And uh, it's kind of a process. <laughs> um, I don't have much to say about it except that I know that uh, I was streaming this and it really helps streaming really helps me because I tend to I, I tend to think about how much I don't like line art <laughs> and streaming keeps me accountable in a lot of ways and helps the work go by a lot faster and a lot more painlessly uh, not that I'm saying that I absolutely hate line art because you know it's weird I actually like doing line art a lot better on actual paper than digitally. I guess I just haven't found that method that I really like yet or it just keeps changing whether I'm never really satisfied with the kind of lines that I make um, and I guess that's okay. I just wish I had a more consistent sort of um, style for that particular part of the process of making art because it's not the most pleasant part for me. It's just so... it feels a lot 
more steady and a lot more finicky than the rest of the 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 parts of the process like sketching i could kind of like sketching i can kind of like get away with you know being loose and then coloring is like you know happy accidents happen all the time and just based on what i know and what i know about color it, it works out but with line art i feel like i have less room for less margin for error there i don't know why um i set myself up for like oh well you you had this line art and it has to be crisp or no make it painterly or no make it this make it that or don't even draw lines at all what are you doing you know so i'm always um kind of fighting with my brain on like the best method for line art and i hope i find it one day because um this particular illustration has a lot of items in it and i didn't really I, as much as i love how this came out at the end of the day i i didn't really have all that much fun uh drawing over everything that i just sketched out in detail i don't like drawing like line arting little detail and i kind of set myself up for that one so you know and like i also have um trouble with like uh angles and uh, perspective so that really shows up like I mean really shows up in line art and I just have to kind of either correct it as I go or hope that it's not too noticeable so yeah that's just the kind of that's just kind of where I'm at right now with line art it was it was tough but I got through it I just wanted to insert here a brief thank you to my patrons on patreon for supporting me and uh all my really wacky projects <laughs> that I make and um, I just wanted to shout you guys out because I it's been a while since I made a video and um, an even further while since I've like put your names up on the screen like I say I always want to do so here you guys are thank you so much and I didn't forget it this time okay I'm baking it into the video <laughs> as we speak so thank you so so much everyone for supporting me on whether that's like reading or sharing my stuff, sharing my videos, sharing my comics, or just like, you know, commenting. I really, really do appreciate all of that. Um, and let me know in the comments what you think of how this turned out um, and like share your process of how you like to illustrate or, you know, anything that you might like to share in the comments below because I'd really like to hear, like to hear about that. Here we are in the flatting stage. Now, this is not really <laughs> flats, traditionally speaking. I kind of filled in, um, I filled in the scene with a general overall color that I wanted as a backdrop, kind of like how you would um, prep a canvas with the color to set the tone and overall mood of the of the illustration. And I did that with kind of this grayish, purplish type of color, and then um, I went over it in the type of brown that I wanted in the overall room. So uh, you can see me actually getting in the pop of light very early on in this phase and um, where I wanted my lights and my darks to go and um, things like that. And basically where I, what basic colors, base colors that I wanted to put into the items. Um, the items were actually a lot of fun to color. Coloring is one of my favorite uh, phases in the illustration process. I wish I could just, if I could, if I can get away with it, I'll try to cut out the line art uh, <laughs> process altogether and just go from sketch to paint, which I'm experimenting with, but it is taking me, it takes me a long time to really get the, the shapes and forms down properly, so sometimes it takes me a while to get from point A to point B, which is why I like to have line art as sort of an anchor, but um, yeah, you see me like putting down the flats for different things and getting the lighting down rather early, and one of the last things I actually color is Dio um, in this picture. I think what I really wanted to emphasize here in this um, picture is the overall mood and general lighting um, of the room and uh, just those warm tones and I wanted to make it more cohesive than I previously made this picture and I wanted it to be more of um, sort of this hazy feeling of being in um, a type of magician's workshop if you will and then you know Dio is very He's a very peaceful type of character, and I really like to emphasize that 
Um, he likes to use his abilities for the general good, and he likes to help people, and um, that warm glow, I wanted to have that reflect on his character um, as a warm person um, in general. So you see him just making this, uh, this writing this long scroll of like, I guess it's a sigil or a spell or something. And yeah, I, I just really, I really, really like how the tone came out in this, um, in this picture because I really like playing with um, the translucency of the jars and the, the colors of the paper and the scrolls and the papyrus and the, the glow of the window and the, the shaft of light that comes through. And I just like to think it's just nice and hazy and a little warm in that room. So um, I wanted to really like bring that out in this picture and just have it sort of be more of a peaceful picture, a little bit more cohesive, like I said, because the older picture has, while it's very, very colorful, um, I feel as though it there's not enough of a cohesion to it that um, really brings the mood into this picture. Now, fun fact, I don't know why I kept redoing this picture, but this actually started out on paper um, in watercolor. And I and that picture is long gone now, but I swear to you, I've dr I must have drawn it like three or four times trying to get the angle right, trying to get the paint right and the lighting right. And it's, it was very, very hard for me. So I think that this is the last time I will draw this picture because oh my goodness um it was quite the ordeal um and i'm going to just like go into the phase of like you know really you'll see me pull all of this together and all the lighting together and blending it a little better because i start off painting this picture with the oil paint brush on clip studio and i love that brush so much but then i go back in and i um use the round blending brush and it um, smooths a lot of the surfaces out nicely. Some of them I leave a little rough because, you know, this room is like mostly wood paneling and wood and, you know, all that other kind of furniture that's very rustic and very woody, I guess you would say, and there's a lot of plants in there. So um, I tried to give it a mix of texture where it's like not too rough with the oil brush, but not too smooth with the round brush. So yeah, I'm just kind of like laying down the details and um, giving the lighting a chance to really have room to like fill the room and you have your focal point with Dio in the corner and I, I really hope that I achieve that sort of, um, I guess, overall vibe, overall mood in, in this picture. And there we have it, peeps. Uh, another video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video today and I hope you might have learned something new or um yeah like I just really had a lot of fun making this this illustration and I like to think that I've improved from 2018 to now um I can't even really remember if this was made in 2018 or 2017 I like to think it's 2017 but I put it at 2018 because I don't know. I, I don't know. I like even numbers. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you want to read my comic, it's in the description below. The Alchemist Collective and the story is called Illusio. So all the links in the description down below. If you want to support me on Patreon, links are also there. Um, check me out on Twitter. That's where I usually am. And yeah, uh, I hope you guys have a good day. Take care. Bye.